Let's practice negating a definition and then doing an application of that negation. So let's look at the definition that says that the limit is x goes to a of f of x equals l if for all epsilon bigger than zero, there is a delta bigger than zero such that for all x on the interval a minus delta to a plus delta, f of x minus l, an absolute value is less than epsilon. Now, when we negate that, we'll end up with the limit as x goes to a of f of x does not exist if for all l real numbers, there is an epsilon bigger than zero such that for all delta bigger than zero, there is an x on this interval where the inequality is reversed. So notice for all is turned into there exists and vice versa. Now let's set f of x equal to one if x is rational and zero if x is irrational. And we claim that the limit as x goes to zero if f of x does not exist. Now let's take any real number l and set epsilon equal to the minimum of the absolute value of l over two and the absolute value of l minus one over two. And then observe that we can take x on the interval minus delta to delta intersected with the rational numbers. And then f of x minus l is bigger than epsilon.